November 24th, Daily Video Bible Reading from the Net Bible, Daniel chapter 7 from the Old Testament. In the first year of King Belshazzar of Babylon, Daniel had a dream filled with visions while he was lying on his bed. Then he wrote down the dream in summary fashion. Daniel explained, I was watching in my vision during the night as the four winds of the sky were stirring up the great sea. Then four large beasts came up from the sea. They were different from one another. The first one was like a lion with eagle's wings. As I watched, its wings were pulled off and it was lifted up from the ground. It was made to stand on two feet like a human being and a human mind was given to it. Then a second beast appeared like a bear. It was raised up on one side and there were three ribs in its mouth between its teeth. It was told, get up and devour much flesh. After these things, as I was watching, another beast, like a leopard, appeared with four bird-like wings on its back. This beast had four heads and ruling authority was given to it. After these things, as I was watching in the night visions, a fourth beast appeared, one dreadful, terrible, and very strong. It had two large rows of iron teeth. It devoured and crushed, and anything that was left it trampled with its feet. It was different from all the beasts that came before it, and it had ten horns. As I was contemplating the horns, another horn, a small one, came up between them, and three of the former horns were torn out by the roots to make room for it. This horn had eyes resembling human eyes and a mouth speaking arrogant things. While I was watching, thrones were set up, and the Ancient of Days took his seat. His attire was white like snow. The hair of his head was like a lamb's wool. His throne was ablaze with fire, and its wheels were all aflame. A river of fire was streaming forth and proceeding from his presence. Many thousands were ministering to him. Many tens of thousands stood ready to serve him. The court convened, and the books were opened. Then I kept on watching because of the arrogant words of the horn that was speaking. I was watching until the beast was killed and its body destroyed and thrown into the flaming fire. As for the rest of the beasts, their ruling authority had already been removed, though they were permitted to go on living for a time and a season. I was watching in the night visions and with the clouds of the sky, one like a son of man was approaching. He went up to the Ancient of Days and was escorted before him. To him was given ruling authority, honor, and sovereignty. All peoples, nations, and language groups were serving him. His authority is eternal and will not pass away. His kingdom will not be destroyed. As for me, Daniel, my spirit was distressed and the visions of my mind were alarming me. I approached one of those standing nearby and asked him about the meaning of all this. So he spoke with me and revealed to me the interpretation of the vision. These large beasts, which are four in number, represent four kings who will arise from the earth. The holy ones of the Most High will receive the kingdom and will take possession of the kingdom forever and ever. Then I wanted to know the meaning of the fourth beast, which was different from all the others. It was dreadful with two rows of iron teeth and bronze claws, and it devoured, crushed, and trampled anything that was left with its feet. I also wanted to know the meaning of the ten horns on its head and of that other horn which came up and before which three others fell. This was the horn that had eyes and a mouth speaking arrogant things, whose appearance was more formidable than the others. While I was watching, that horn began to wage war against the holy ones and was defeating them until the Ancient of Days arrived and judgment was rendered in favor of the holy ones of the Most High. Then the time came for the holy ones to take possession of the kingdom. This is what he told me. The fourth beast means there will be a fourth kingdom on earth that will differ from all the other kingdoms. It will devour all the earth and will trample and crush it. The ten horns mean that ten kings will arise from that kingdom. Another king will arise after them, but he will be different from the earlier ones. He will humiliate three kings. He will speak words against the Most High. He will harass the holy ones of the Most High continually. 
His intention will be to change times established by law. They will be delivered into his hand for a time, times, and a half a time. But the court will convene and his ruling authority will be removed, destroyed, and abolished forever. Then the kingdom, authority, and greatness of the kingdoms under all of heaven will be delivered to the people of the Holy Ones of the Most High. His kingdom is an eternal kingdom. All authorities will serve him and obey him. This is the conclusion of the matter. As for me, Daniel, my thoughts troubled me greatly, and the color drained from my face, but I kept the matter to myself. God, I think it's so amazing that this morning some of my uh, prayer partners were asking me what I needed prayer for, and I said, perseverance. Uh, We seem to be coming under pretty heavy attack as we complete the rest of the Bible at Daily Video Bible. And some days it's just incredibly hard to get one more thing done just with all the roadblocks that seem to be being put in our path. And... I love the fact that my friends are are praying for perseverance and here we record today uh, something that is about perseverance. Now granted prophecies are are pretty interesting especially with the way that Daniel puts them uh, talking about these creatures coming up from the sea and uh, horns and all of these interesting things happening Um, and it's fascinating to get caught up caught up in that and try and figure out what what was the prophecy about was it about the the historical places, Babylon, uh, Medo-Persia, Greece, Rome, or or was he referring to something that was coming in the future where they were going to be uh, kingdoms or nations uh, that were going to act that way? And is the little horn uh, truly the devil himself who is ultimately thrown into the fire? Or is he one of the people that is put in place uh, throughout history to try and destroy Christians and your word God? So all of that is incredibly fascinating, and, and I've always loved reading Daniel. Um, but we, we don't know, and we won't know until the end of times exactly what all of these things precisely mean. But what the angel is trying to get across, especially since they are kind of vague about specifics, is that judgment will come. What we do here on earth will come into judgment for everyone. And those of us who are saints will triumph over the evil. Um, So again, back to my original thank you to you is today needs to be about perseverance. And here we're recording uh, an entire uh, chapter in the book of Daniel that's all about perseverance, perseverance of the saints, that yes, all of these things will happen, that all of these people throughout history will be put in place to try and destroy uh, what we're trying to do here on earth for you, God. And... The whole point is ultimately we win and we've got to keep that in mind that the far reaching goal has to be first and foremost in our head. Not waking up in the morning and realizing that all the money that I've spent on daily video Bible would be really great to have right now to pay for bills that money isn't coming in to pay. That's hard. Um, All the technology that's going wrong with daily video Bible to somehow have uh, the ability or the money to fix all those things. But again, the timing is is perfect as we are about to complete the entire Bible online uh, so that people around the world can watch and listen to your word, God. It's not surprising to me uh, that we are seeing this assault on Daily Video Bible and, of course, on my personal world as well. Um, Interestingly enough, last night, the the devil sent in a... A specifically traumatic situation that could have only happened uh, not out of coincidence in the slightest but was very intentional and it was very traumatic and very emotional uh, and very hard to deal with um, I had a couple of people who prayed over me in dealing with the situation and it's it's amazing to me to watch exactly what we've been reading in Daniel and Revelation and throughout the Bible. It's amazing to me to watch people being used by the devil to torment the people who are trying to do work for you. And that happened last night. Somebody intentionally went after me, Uh, not because I'm a Christian, but just because they were being obedient to Satan and following what 
he had put in front of them to do it seemed much more interesting than just being kind or nice or uh, leaving me alone which would have been great so thank you God for knowing ahead of time the order that we would be recording this in and knowing full well what this ministry would need today would be to hear about the perseverance of the saints of knowing that great traumatic things are going to happen throughout all of history and there will always be people some evil some very evil who will step in our paths intentionally to try and stop us whether they're intentionally trying to stop daily video bible or they're trying to hurt me um, or trying to destroy whatever all i know is that they're under the obedience of, of satan himself and and god we pray for those people today um, there's a time in my life where i was very obedient to satan i wasn't a satan worshiper but i certainly wasn't doing what you were asking me to do so my only other choice obviously is to do what satan delights in me doing and i had many people who prayed for my life at that time and God, we just pray for those people's lives right now that that somehow what is happening in their life makes it okay for them to do the things that they do to deceive people to lie to people to hurt people uh, to torture people to um, be destructive in people's lives god something has happened in their lives that this is okay for them to do and that their choice between doing good and bad uh, that that they honestly believe that choosing that bad part is much better than choosing the good and God my heart breaks for people like that that they have a life that those kind of choices seem okay very self-focused uh, very of their own kingdom type of choices God I just lift them up to you I know it's only you who can change their hearts it's only you who can change their path in life you did that to me I am a walking miracle considering what my life was like before you came into my life and what my life's like now truly is two different people so thank you thank you for giving me a new heart thank you for walking this path with me thank you for putting people in my life to walk this path with me and most of all today thank you for incredible uh, chapters in your bible in your word to us that share exactly what we need to hear today which is perseverance that we will have to deal with these situations we will have these circumstances for the rest of our lives for the rest of the time of the history until satan is finally thrown into the fire but we also know that with you all things are possible not 99 percent, but all things are possible god thank you for making all things possible in our lives when we can't see even one step in front of us. In your son's name we pray. Amen.